A basic flowchart helps a person understand a process. It can show what needs to be done and shows each step and who's involved in each step. To create a basic flowchart, your shapes should automatically be picked because they are part of your basic shapes that are usually picked. If you need to change shapes, you click on the arrow and you choose the shapes that you want. There's lots of different ones to pick from there. So there's lots of different flow charts you can pick from. So just choose the ones you want. Once you have the ones you want, you basically just click on the shape and you drag it onto the page to create a flow chart. This is just a basic one. If you need ones that have different departments involved, you have to choose cross functional and add swim lanes. But on this basic one, each shape just means a different thing. So there's the start, there's a process, there's a decision. You know, there's data, there's a document, there's lots. And once you create your flowchart, you can click inside of the shapes and type what each part of the process is. So it's great for, you know, telling people exactly what they need to do and when. And if they need to pass it on to someone, whether they need to escalate, anything. And when you double click, it's really easy. You just double click and you type in there. You can also change the way your shape looks. You can change the color. You can change the size. You can do all that stuff. And when you see the arrows there, if you click on the arrows, it actually creates connectors. And those connectors show which way the process is going. The connectors are really what shows which way each the process actually goes. So once you pick the connector you want and you need, you can then click on one shape, hold down, and let go when you go to the next shape. And that connects each of the shapes. As you can see, you connect it now, and now you can see how the process actually goes. If you need to write anything or type anything within the connector, you can just click right in the connector and it opens up a text box. And then all you do is type what you need in there. And you can choose different types of connectors. By clicking on the more shapes, there's different connectors in there as well. And you can right click to make any changes like if you need to make them thicker or anything. There's copy and paste, there's everything in the right click there as well. Mm -hmm.